So I broadly explained about the reform steps which were taken during uh, the previous uh, 14 to 19 tenure of this government. And after the 2019 elections, the July budget was presented, post that immediately, in this very hall, we met several times over several fortnights when we had to respond to the call of the hour, the need, of, uh, need which was felt by the SMEs and many others. And all this only to underline the fact that you are speaking with a sensitive, a responsive and a government which believes in consultation. So then after that the budget of February 2020 was presented but soon after came Corona. And after uh, the parliament session was concluded, within hours of the announcement of the lockdown, the PM Garib Kalyan package was announced, about which MOs has briefly referred. The numbers are something which are worth recalling here because we are going to have to build on that. 52,606 crores into DBT account of 41 crore bank account holders, the Jandan account holders. 18,000 crore worth grain and pulse transfers happened, in which 48 lakh metric tons of wheat and rice have been distributed, costing 69 crores, uh, to, sorry, to 69 crore account pass, um, ration card holders. 71,738 metric tons of uh, pulses have been distributed to 6.25 crore cardholders. Aside from this, non-cardholders have also been distributed grains. And I mentioned a, go a minute ago about the Wujwala scheme which helps help distribution of free cylinders. Divyang and old age pensioners have all been also given assistance. So after the lockdown, within a couple of hours, meaning within a day or two, we came with that announcement of the Garib Kalyan uh, package. With that, there was also a compliance and also due diligence related deadline dates which were postponed so that ease of compliance could come in. Beginning today, I come over to speaking about today, beginning today, for the next few days, I shall be coming with this entire team before you to put out the details of the vision which PM has put forth yesterday. So PM's vision for a self-reliant India, will, we will come with the details in various tranches beginning today and we shall not forget in each of the tranches that we are talking about that we do have a responsibility towards the poor of this country, towards the needy of the country, towards the migrant workers of this country, the Divyang and the aged. So the, the, the tranches will of course be for all our convenience, suitably bringing grouped items which have some correlation. Alongside, you also had the Reserve Bank of India coming up with a lot of uh, liquidity infusion, about which the data which will be shared with you all will go into greater detail about the quantum that they came up with the LTROs and the TLTROs. I'm not getting into it so that you'll get the data, but we are not going into it. We also ensured, the Revenue Secretary is here, we also ensured that 18,000 crores of refunds through a special drive were given for all the income tax uh, taxpayers. Drawback were also given the payments. So the intention being liquidity should be in the hands of the people. Uh, for all those who have up to 5 lakhs of refund dues, we cleared it. 14 lakh taxpayers have benefited because of that. So with that said, today the tranche has about 15 different measures, 15 different measures 
six of which which pertain to the micro small and medium enterprises kutir lagu udyog ke liye che aise kadam hum uthayenge two relate to the employee in, employees provident fund two relate to the nbfcs housing finance, finance corporations and the mfis microfinance institutions one relates to discoms one relates to contractors one relates to real estate and three are tax measures that we have taken so i'll get into the detail of today's uh, tranche of announcements i said there are six major steps for the msmes the first one there is a collateral free automatic loan for msmes which is being provided this will give facility up to 3 lakh crores 25 crore outstanding for those msme units for whom 25 crore is the outstanding loan or 100 crores whose turnover is will benefit from this these loans will have a four year tenor and there will be a moratorium given for 12 months these are going to be 100% credit guaranteed over uh, as a cover given to banks and nbfcs on principal and interest so this is going to be available till 31st october 2020 there are no guarantee fees no fresh collaterals required so i guess this will benefit 45 lakh units so that they can resume their business activity and also safeguard 